My name's Jeremy Tomley. Spike Richards with Saber Bats. My name is Tasha Messer-Williams. Benjamin Green. My name is Seth Boris, and I am a modern-day bladesmith. Whether it's down-home southern cooking, skilled craftsmanship, or beautiful artwork, Mississippi is full of amazing people and amazing stories. So let them tell you what it means to be made in Mississippi. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Katie Dixon. I'm from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and I own Birdhouse Cafe. So I grew up in Brookhaven, Mississippi. I was the oldest of four children. Um, we are Mississippi through and through. Um, my grandfather was a farmer in Mississippi. Everything we did was on the farm. Everything I learned about cooking was from the farm. I was the oldest of four. We were very involved in sports, in school. We really just loved to call Mississippi home. On the farm, I had the choice. I could either follow my grandfather around and check on the cattle, I could help him with the chickens, um, I could help him with the garden, or I could follow my grandmother around in the kitchen. And it was a hard task. I really loved being on the farm with my grandfather, but I loved being in the kitchen with my grandmother. She loved to serve people. It was like serving love on a plate for her. She would make breakfast, lunch, dinner every day. My love for cooking really came from my grandmother. So, so many hours spent in that farmhouse kitchen just getting to learn from her, um, share her passion of cooking, and learn really the Southern style cooking method that most Southerners um, actually use to cook with. Master Chef came about. It brings a smile to my face just saying the word Master Chef. It was such an amazing experience for me. I was um, in a commercial kitchen at Vitamin Plus right here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. But one of my friends from the coast of Mississippi had sent me a message saying, you should try out for Master Chef. And it was like a little flyer that she saw in a shop she was in. And I laughed about it. I was like, yeah, right. I can't be on Master Chef. And um, that night, um, I had been working at, at Vitamin Plus. I'd opened a little place called Shine Cafe inside. And I was up coughing all night because another one of my friends had sent me um, some flowers out of her yard and I was allergic to something in it. So instead of falling asleep, I'm like up on my phone because I'm coughing all night. And I look at the text message from my friend and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna fill out this form at 2 a.m. in the morning. So I filled out the form to apply for MasterChef and the next morning when I left work, I had like 19 missed calls from LA. So the next day I go, um, cook for the crew at MasterChef in Jackson, Mississippi, and that started a nine month long process. It started with 22,000 applicants and they narrowed us to 80 to actually go to LA and see who was actually gonna be on the show. So thankfully, my friend Cameron sent me that MasterChef application and um, thankfully my friend Elizabeth sent me some flowers that made me cough all night. <laughs> I have to say my absolute favorite things to cook. I love to make curries. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but I love to make fresh curry. Another one of my most favorite things when I open Birdhouse Cafe and still to this day is I love making sweet treats. So I have a, a sweet treat line. We have gluten dairy free muffins that we make fresh every day at Birdhouse. I really think making the sweet things really brings me back to my childhood memories of being in the kitchen with my grandmother because she was always had a fresh cake out. Watch the full episode on the WDAM7 Plus app, the WDAM7 YouTube page, or online at WDAM.com slash Made in MS.